Hello everyone, uh, my name's Tim and this is the Silver Pascal Coder. Um, just some uh, little bit of housekeeping before we get into today's video which is about advanced records in modern Pascal. Uh, first thing is that my the name of the channel is not the... Um, I'm still Silver Coder but um, the actual channel name is now the Silver Pascal Coder. Um, I'm sort of nailing my sail to the mast a bit more, shall we say, in the terms of Pascal, but I'm also going to say that as far as Pascal is concerned, we're going to refer to modern Pascal as opposed to uh, Pascal that one might have learnt, you know, at university or something. So, um, the other thing which I am trying to do also is to be able to uh, create an article of some sort so that uh, to go with a video and uh, this particular one is records versus classes which is something I'm just uh, toying with at the moment but like we are talking about advanced records in this particular one and I am wanting to do this in a markdown format as well so that eventually a documentation site of some sort could go live and all this information is contained in one spot. Why? Because we do have a language, you know, which is worthwhile uh, celebrating and um, recognizing that and to be able to find somewhere where we can you know get information that's you know, useful and relevant shall I hope anyway so um, and in that with that in mind one of the uh, other things I'm also playing with at the moment is a blog post on uh, is on about um, the differences between, let's say, you know, exist standard Pascal or classical Pascal versus um, modern Pascal. So um, there'll be another article, which is or video that's going to be coming up as well. So um, today's video, we're going to look at advanced records, and to do this, we need to have a look at where records have started and. What I am doing in this particular video here is uh, rather than having to um, do lots of coding, shall we say, because you know it sucks when I um, try to speak and type at the same time, but uh, here what you will see is uh, what a normal record might look like um, in Pascal, of course, you know, way back when a date time field wouldn't have been around but you know you got the idea where if you were had a structure like that containing those particular properties then you might have to write a uh, procedure um, init phone message you know whatever uh, begin you know and so on uh, to uh, initialize the particular settings. So um, somewhere along the lines, you know, someone had the innovation to, um, shall we say, modernize it a bit more and allow um, operators to be incorporated into the definition. And so I'm going to move this back down here and to show you uh, what it looks like now uh, I'm just going to take that and that out and now you can see that we've got an initialize operator, a finalize as well as an assign operator. So basically the initialize one is when a record is declared the initialize gets called when a record goes out of scope the finalize get called and the assign function is when a um, <coughs> the assignment you know operator which is going to be uh, 
this one here is used, you know, then that gets called, you know, on that particular operation. There is a web page on the fr uh, free Pascal website as well, and I'm just going to take you there. We'll put a link in the description below, um, and also a link to the corresponding page on the Embarcado Delphi uh, site as well, but to uh, show you what the uh, methods, you know, are or the operators are, you know, that would be in Delphi versus what you know they how you might use them versus the operator names in um, Free Pascal, because you can see here in Free Pascal, you know, they've got those as operators. Whereas, you know, we don't, there is no equivalent for that in Delphi, according to this particular page here. So, let us go and look at this particular program here. So, like I said, what we have here basically are three operators. And we'll get rid of this function here. Um, we do have a log message, just so something can be written out to screen. Uh, and basically, just so we can see an actual difference in what's happening here, um, when we are doing an assignment, we're going to add basically one hour onto the uh, time of call from the source, and that goes into the destination. Uh, in the finalized, we're just going to say when the uh, record gets destroyed, in the initialize function, we will default the time of call field to now. So basically, in the initialization function uh, or method here, um, operator, then uh, what you would do is uh, initialize all, you know the fields that make sense. And yes, I not so deliberately ignoring all the fields, but just to illustrate what you would do here. Um, then we have a test procedure and you can see here that we've got initialization. These are inline initializations. Then I'm just going to log each time or the, t um, the time of call field from each of the um, record structures or the advanced records we're looking at. And this is all then wrapped up by the uh, begin within the main program. Now. Uh, when we are looking at uh, advanced records in Delphi or in, let's say, in modern Pascal, be aware that they uh, do not support um, inheritance at all. So they can contain variants, whereas classes cannot. That the uh, records, you know, are um, allocated on the stack, whereas a class would be on the heap and they are value types. Um, they have uh, operator overloading, so you can do something like if you, let's say, had two vectors with A and B, you could have a um, an additional an addition operator to say, you know, um, result vector equals vector A plus vector B, you know, and it could do the appropriate uh, calculation there. Um, and like I said, they don't really have destructors because once they go out of scope, <coughs> they get automatically destroyed, as you'll find out. So uh, I think the trick, though, is to remember is that if you do need things like inheritance uh, or uh, something which is more complicated than, let's say, record structure, then go for classes. But you know, for something light, and let's say for a lightweight class, you could you know fit that into a record structure. So let us run this, um, or can build this program now. Uh, so let's go run. And while it is building, and so here you can see that this is when the, uh, here is when the first, um, a record was created. Then you can see that the copy got created and then we have an assignment and the assigned record is actually one hour after 
the um, source record which is what we wanted and then you can see them both being destroyed and they just happen to be destroyed in reverse order so, um, so the really the the one of the things then like I said to consider is well when would I use an advanced record or when might I use a class so let's consider the um, the possibilities here um, because they are let's say they just use the stack uh, and they are automatically allocated one could say that they are a bit performance wise are a bit faster than using a class um, they uh, and because you know of that same reason they you know one could argue they are more memory efficient especially if you were to have like an array of them you know um, and like I said with scoping then um, you don't have to worry about you know your um, own memory management routines but as I said before sometimes they may not meet your particular needs they are just one tool that you can use so if you do need inheritance or you've got some sort of complex um, objects that need to be controlled then you know using a full-on class might be a better fit but if you're looking for a way to get into object-oriented programming or OWO programming in modern Pascal this would be a good place to start so um, so to sum up this particular video we'll just get out of this now uh, here and uh, modern, you know, these advanced records are a nice addition to the language which allow us to uh, add or you know add code methods and operators into a class uh, so while you know while I may not have a well actually here's what we could here's an example of what you might do with the um, something you could do with the um, this particular um, class or rec advanced record shall we say and we go back to uh, where shall we go to here let's go to here function we could say something like um, a string and let's make that return a string and let's go to there and we could say okay and to finish off that let's um, we may as well in here in the initialize we may as well set the um, dest dot from name equals um, anon here and uh, dest dot details equals um, okay so down here let's do this n now we can uh, copy dot a string and let's do do this and we can now run it so here you can see like I said through that um, function that was added to the record we can actually you know do something um, say inheritance and on you know complex object manipulation then using a class you know may be your better uh, choice but if you're looking for something lightweight then um, advanced records are a good choice and a good introduction to object oriented programming um, so on that note um, I hope that you got something from this particular video and don't forget to like and 
subscribe and if you want to keep up to date with what's happening here you can hit that notification button and if you want to just send me a message um, you can do that also so I look forward to hearing from you if you do message me and until next time happy coding and I'll see you then bye